Hey guys, it's me Stormy and welcome to your November 2016 Love Only Horoscope. So this month, fun, 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 love it. We're going to check in on Venus and Mars and Mars is going to be moving into our eccentric sign Aquarius. Now he's going to be here from November 9th all the way until December 19th. So what does this mean? We have Mars wanting to be friendly, wanting to make new friendships, wanting to deepen a friendship, maybe even wanting to play or do some things that are just really different, right? This can also mean that you are attracted to somebody who maybe has some qualities that normally you wouldn't be attracted to, right? And the other thing I think that this is really fun to be about is that you may feel like being more social, which is cool getting out maybe you meet somebody on Facebook and it's like oh I just friend requested but didn't think anything of it and then you start a really funny conversation or something it could really just be quirky and eccentric this month as far as Mars goes so that's a lot of fun then we look over to see what Venus is doing and she is moving her beautiful self into our very cautious earth sign of Capricorn, right? Now, what I love about this is that it'll be this way until December. So here, we can actually see commitments happening, different levels of commitment happening. There's um, this idea of responsibility where it's like, I can't just be in a relationship for no reason, or if I'm in a relationship, I need to own my part and be responsible. It's really a very responsible kind of energy that Venus moves into, but it's beautiful for helping us ground down and see the reality of some things. Maybe even to start to create some structure around a romance that's maybe just beginning or one that's going on, or even some structure around what you want to bring into your life if you're single. Now, let's keep in mind, that just because Capricorn is about responsibility and just because Capricorn is an earth sign, that doesn't take the sexy out. Capricorns will tell you that they are perfectly happy to bring some sexy back. Along with having a full moon in Taurus this month, the sensuality is here, okay? This could be a fun, I don't wanna say lusty, but there could be some lustiness, but there's definitely gonna be some sexy that is put into this month that you're able to access and use as long as you're willing to make the effort and just kind of go with the flow. You know what they say, the universe provides when the dude abides. You gotta put that surfer wisdom out there this month, okay guys? So if you wanna see what's going up for your sign, just stay tuned. Hi Aquarius, boom, don't you get a boost this month. We have Mars moving into your sign for the first time in a handful of years and that just brings in sexy back for you. That is like, puts you on go. It energizes this area of your life, right? It gets you motivated, it makes you assertive, it makes you even a little aggressive. If there's something, someone, some project, some vision you have that you're willing and ready to go after, this really helps you do that. Not only that, I think it creates a certain kind of beautiful magnetism within you because Mars just brings a little bit of magic with his girl. Now, the other thing I do think you have to be mindful of is that while Mars brings energy, right, and he brings this really nice kind of movement, where Mars goes, he does like to bring issues as well. So with Mars here, if you've been having issues in relationships, whether you're single, whether you're not single, you've been having a business relationship that hasn't gone well, I think Mars will rise this to the surface because you've got to handle it. But you are so dang motivated with him here that you really can take that action and move it forward. It's a really great month for getting things um, set and settled, getting people on the same page so that these relationships, whether they be romantic or any other kind of partnership, can move forward on different footing, on the footing that says, okay, we're all on the same page, we're working for the same thing. Now, you are your eccentric self, right? And that's beautiful and you may be varied versions of that depending on what kind of Aquarius you are, but this could also be a month where Mars bumps up this um, desire to experiment with different things. You may be wanting to try different foods. You may be wanting to date different kind of people. If you're already coupled up, you may be like, well, I'd really like to try this because Kama Sutra page four says, and we've never done that. You know, whatever it is, or it could be like, I want to try something new. I just want to give you a back massage tonight. You don't have to do me, right? Whatever it is, your sense of experimentation, I think, is heightened this month as well. So enjoy it. Don't go crazy, but have fun. All right, bye Aquarius. Hello everyone, this is Monica with Advice to Think Twice and I'm here with your November 2016 mini tarot love scopes. Um, this is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising. 
So as always, watch your moon and rising sign readings for additional messages, and I hope that the tarot combined with the astrology gives you um, a bigger picture as to what's coming up for you this month, okay? So let's just jump in. So Aquarius, in your present situation, we have a beautiful major icon card. We have the sun. So with the sun in, in your present situation, it took, um, it could talk about, sorry, it could talk about um, a focus on children at this time. For some of you, it says that you're single and happy to be single. You're enjoying the single life. You're going out, you're having fun, you're dating people, nothing serious, and you're, you're absolutely happy with that. Um, for others, the sun card talks about excitement, optimism, some sort of um, celebration. So it could be, you know, kind of just getting your wish with something um, that the sun card talks about for you. Um, traveling perhaps coming up or moving coming up, okay, maybe moving in with your partner um, at this time, or it just talks about getting your wish with some sort of a commitment um, and I feel like especially if you're dealing with a Leo person, and of course it could represent a Leo be, being significant for you at this time. Maybe someone that's at a distance, maybe someone who's in, in a different place than you are, uh, and you kind of have to travel back and forth to see each other. It could be something like that. Um, your main opportunity for the month, we have the Ten of Pentacles. So the Ten of Pentacles is your main opportunity. It tells you that if you um, have been waiting for commitment or a proposal, the main opportunity is that it could absolutely be coming to you this month with the Sun card and, and the Ten of Pentacles. The Ten of Pentacles also about, talks about the opportunity to start a family if that's what you've been looking for. If your focus has been on children and starting a family, your opportunity is that you absolutely can do that this month. Um, the Ten of Pentacles can also represent the main opportunity as starting a new relationship that has this kind of potential, that has the potential to take you to your uh, happily ever after, long-term, secure, stable relationship with everything that you could possibly need. Could be something like that coming up as your main opportunity. Um, and something to do with family, so perhaps your main opportunity would be meeting someone new through family, okay? Your main challenge is the King of Pentacles. So for some of you, your main challenge is if your family has been trying to set you up with someone or introduce you to someone and you've been really, really resisting it, uh, the King of Pentacles would show up as your main challenge in terms of try to go with it, try to stay open to this idea. The King of Pentacles can be someone who is stubborn, who knows what they want and doesn't really like change or doesn't really like um, things not going to plan. And so perhaps that's why your challenge comes up as the King of Pentacles in terms of just be open and try, okay, because it feels like these two are, are related. Um, if your family has been trying to do this, try, give them a shot, let, let them do it, and just see what happens. Um, the challenge could also be traditions, old ways of doing things, um, the way you were brought up, um, family interfering um, in the situation uh, could be a challenge for some of you with the King of Pentacles. This could be a father figure being impossible and stubborn um, for some of you, or it could be um, an earth sign causing issues, a Taurus of regard Capricorn. Um, and for some of you, it does feel like you have the opportunity to have a beautiful life with this person, but the challenge is that sometimes they can be a bit controlling and they can be a bit uh, restrictive or um, limiting. And so it's all about what is it that you truly want, okay? And is this challenge something you can handle or is it too much for you and you want to be free? Okay, it could be something like that going on for some of you. And it could be, you know, that, you know, you don't want to be pinned down. You don't want to be restricted. You don't want to be limited by traditional views. And that could be your challenge. Your advice is the nine of wands. So for some of you, the Nine of Wands talks about sticking to you, to your guns, okay? Standing your ground, uh, defending who you are and what you believe in. This is for those of you who just want to be free, who just want to have fun, um, or of course, who want to, uh, who are not necessarily looking to meet someone right now. 
they enjoy having fun. And with the Nine of Wands, it's saying kind of resist the pressures of other people trying to get you married, other people trying to get you to live with someone. Just stand your ground, you know what is best for you, and just keep going in that direction. For those of you, the Nine of Wands, if you are dealing with the situation where you're you're with someone, you have the potential to um, look at a long-term commitment with this person, but sometimes they can be a bit controlling. The Nine of Wands says, um, what can you work with? Is it that you can just lower your guard a little bit and try to see things from their perspective or try to meet them halfway? Um, or um, is it that, you know, it's going to turn into a standoff and ultimatum type energy, okay? And it's just saying, be discerning what really matters to you um, what can you live with and what is not going to be important five years from now, okay? So it's just saying be discerning and protect what deserves to be protected, okay? Protect what is important. Stick to what is important, okay, is what they're saying with the Nine of Wands. Um, and for some of you, it does say don't give up. So if it's, I feel like if it's to do with children and starting a family, the Nine of Wands is saying, don't give up, you're almost there. In the outcome position, if you take the advice, we do have the Page of Wands. And the Page of Wands is wonderful news coming your way, potentially to do with children because it's a page. So if you have been trying to start a family and the card is saying, you know what, don't give up, keep going, you're almost there. Um, and if money is an issue, they're just saying, just try and uh, try one more time. Okay, try one more time. Uh, because you may definitely get the good news that you're hoping to hear with the Page of Wands. The Page of Wands can also represent new energy um, within an existing relationship. If you have been dealing with, with someone you knew and, and things have been um, a bit boring or they've been feeling, you know, like, you know, not a lot is happening, um, with the Nine of Wands, it's just saying stick to what is important, have that conversation, look for a way to bring passion back into the relationship. And with the Page of Wands, that's exactly what happens. You bring new energy into the relationship, fire and passion and excitement. Maybe you start to have a little bit more fun, going out more, okay, coming up with a plan, maybe taking a holiday. Maybe that's what you're looking at to so just rekindle that passion. Um, for those of you who are currently at a distance from each other, um, I feel like the keep going message applies to you as well. Keep going. Don't give up on this. It's a solid relationship. It has wonderful potential. Um, just because work is getting in the way or a financial situation um, is getting in the way doesn't mean you should give up on this relationship. Keep going and keep up. Keep talking to this person. Keep this relationship alive even though it's long distance. Now, of course, um, it's up to you. You know what feels best for you. You know what is right for you. So just, you know, figure out how these cards apply to you if they do. Because it, it is a general reading. Um, but yeah, that's, that's what I'm picking up on for some of you for the month of November. I really hope that the reading makes sense. And um, I hope that it helps. Thank you very much for being here. I hope that everyone has a wonderful month and I'll talk to you soon. Take care.